Three, two, one. Bradley's back. Rowing video number 11. Yes, I'm back. There's my water. Got my attire on. Got my rowing mat right here. My rowing machine right here. All right. Got the Stooges to the left, of course. I know you love that. I made some adjustments last time. Remember I told you that I was going to add these pipes and I have. Now this is the original handle. I took the foam uh, padding off so I could slip these over easy enough. So I'll show you how. See, they actually go out this further. See the distance right there? Probably about eight inches, nine inches longer. So they just basically slip over. You can still use this one. Why, why would you do that when you got these? All right. Like I said, this is number 11. Ooh, that feels good. Here we go, man. Yeah. No shout outs today. So, 8.50, we'll go to 9.05. There's something, how about 9, 9.07? All right. So I had all last week off of my job. And uh, the early part of this week off, I don't go back to a Friday, Saturday. That's gonna be my new schedule up at the, that store, only Friday and Saturdays from now on. I just can't risk my health or my, my, uh, my health is really the most important thing. And frankly, there's a lot of, well, I, I don't have to explain to you where I work, you know, my safety and my health. So originally I went down to, I had really started at five days a week and I voluntarily went down to four, then three, then now two, because I feel like this is, the place is just too much of a risk for me to work there anymore. I can handle two days a week for a while, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last. All right. You know, I love my coworkers and my managers up there. You know, as you know, I'm a CSM manager up there. I manage the front end five days a week. Well, actually now two days a week. <laughs> they understand my reasoning for going all the way down to two days a week. You know, my own personal safety and my own personal health. So, you know, look at this, this is cool. Let's do a really wide one here. So you get, you get a lot of thrusting on your legs here. Here's the piston, like I told you before. This will last you for years. You can adjust the actual tension on this where it can, it's so tight that you can't even pull this goddamn thing. We have it at the same tension I did on my last rowing video, number 10. What was it 10? Yeah, I think it was number 10. Got the Stooges over here, of course. You go that way and I'll go this way. We kind of, like I said before, we made some adjustments in the studio. A little more uh, width to the right to the left, so we got a little more room to do shit. Penny doesn't like it, but tough shit. I run the podcast studio. I think you all know that anyway, don't you? It's all fabricated. Ah, there we go. So you go forward with your legs, back and forth. Working your uh, hamstrings, your thighs, you know, your calves, your back, your lats, you know, your chest, your abs, stuff like that. I don't like those other kind of rowing machines. Don't, you know, the kind of have the cables, loose cables you just pull on. I think this is better, stationary ones. You can control this much better. And you can add these things. Yeah, I'll just kind of show you. There we go. See, there's the other one. I know you saw this last time. There's the original length of these, uh, the handle for the rolling machine. Which ain't too bad. You know, basically it still does the job. But, you know, I wanted to modify the ones I had a couple years ago. Add these back on again. This is actually my third rolling machine. I started rolling about four or five years ago in the basement of my house. I kind of wore that machine out, and then about uh, I bought a replacement, approximately the same price. Then I wore that machine out. Then basically, this is my third version. I got this about three months ago, and I finally unboxed it about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and decided to start doing these rowing videos again. Yeah, got my my nutsacks. I gotta adjust my nutsack here. It's kind of like just 
It's just kind of like... I don't know what it's doing. This is perfect for this, uh, making little rowing videos in this room here, man. Perfect. Cannot go any... You cannot go... This is really great, man. I'm glad I started making these rowing videos again. Penny's not too happy. Of course, he'll be coming back probably maybe... Maybe later in the week or next week. I'm not even sure. Spidey might be back tomorrow night or the night before or after. There we go. So just keep adjusting your hands too. If you want a different feel on all your body parts, just keep adjusting your hands. But anyway, back to that job. I've been in the grocery business for 29 years. And I just decided it's time to start ratcheting down. So I just turned 69 years old about two weeks ago, or a week ago, something like that. And I decided that I got to do something physical besides just going to that job. You know, I do like walking around like the aisles a few nights a week. I've been getting away from that lately. So this is kind of like a nice alternative. Just a nice relaxing roll. Just enough to work up a little sweat improve your uh, lung capacity, stuff like that. I'm not going to give no shout outs either because most, nobody really comments on my videos except for a small hand of people, handful of people I should say. I do appreciate that. But if you could subscribe, comment, hit the thumbs up on my, uh, my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate that a lot. It's been tough going with YouTube. They don't seem to want to cut me much slack. Time for some water, man. Time for some my clear, delicious, city polluted water. All right. Not bad. I'll go up and check the time in a few minutes. I just kind of want to get a kind of a quick little rowing session in. Stooges, of course, new episode coming up. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, oh, here we go, here we go. I thought there was about five or six episodes on this disc. Of course, I got Annabelle here. She's my shotgun. Of course, the studio hasn't changed much. Except for, I got rid of some of the clutter, opened it up a little bit, because I needed to kind of expand my horizons, so to speak. Remember, roll, folks. Roll. Pull. Push. You can actually push with this machine, too. You can set the tension where you can actually push, like you're pushing dumbbells or a barbell. You're telling me. Right leg is greatly enlarged. There we go, man. Ooh, we got a chef episode here. Well, you better yank it out. That's how I go to a close grip one. Oh. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, go out west, man. Get... Oh, yeah. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be working two days a week at that store. At this I, the reason I went down, the, I told you already the reason I went down, my personal safety and my health, health concerns because of the store in the area where I work. So basically, it's pretty bad at times. And I'm kind of sick of that shit, man. Just sick of it. It's degraded so horribly in the last four years, that store. Man, it used to be a really nice store to work at. And then all that shit happened about four years ago, man. It just went straight fucking downhill in this area, man. And it's not getting any better. So I gotta make some changes. I gotta, I gotta do what's best for Bradley. Besides, I feel pretty good about almost retiring here completely. It's done me a one uh, load of uh, load, load of good, I should say. The less I have to be at this store, the better. You know, like I said, I love my coworkers and my my MODs up there. 
store directors and stuff like that. But, you know, for my own personal safety and my own personal health sa concerns, I have to do what I have to do. I've earned everything, 29 straight years in that shithole business. So enough of that. There hasn't been many highs, folks. Not many highs. A lot of lows, a lot of lows in 29 years. Four different supermarket chains, and I can only say maybe two of them were worth working for. The other two, absolutely horseshit. And I won't even mention their names. I think you all know who, what I'm talking, who I'm talking about, and what I'm talking about. I don't need to ever repeat that uh, episode of my life. What the hell with them? My co-workers are already upset that I'm starting to go down to two days a week. I just told them straight out. You know, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. You guys got a long ways to go in your working uh, career, man. I've already put my dues in. Anyway, keep rolling. You, see, you know, you get all these different handle adjustments. Look at this. You can just do any kind of length you want on your hands, which is really cool, man. Really cool. Eventually, we're gonna get a little more tension on this machine. Let's go check the timer real quick, get a gulp of water. You can listen to the Stooges. It's not bad. Spidey might be back tomorrow night. Oh, we got lots of times, man. Yeah! All right, up to about 12 minutes on that clock. Here we go again. Let me adjust my uh, my booty sack. <laughs> my booty sack. Uh, been under the weather for about two weeks. I'm starting to kind of turn the corner a little bit on that. I figured doing these rowing videos in the last week and a half would help that a little bit, and I think it has. Gets a little, gets my body some, uh, some much needed exercise, other than just walking around that goddamn store, ugh, arguing with people. Oh Jesus Christ! I've had enough of that shit, man. Oh, oh what a fucking nightmare. I won't tell you what's going on up there. I think you all know how bad the store is at times, or pretty much every day of the week. I'm not arguing with these customers anymore. No more, man. That's enough that shit, man. I don't have to do that. I can just sit and roll. Anyway, I'm not sure about any shout-outs. I probably could do a shout-out for Damian Balmer. He's probably wondering why in the hell I'm just doing rolling videos now instead of... Uh... Well, I, still, I, did, uh, I did Spidey uh, night before last, so... You know, I'm still doing the other videos. It's just a matter of uh, alternating different characters. Penny hasn't been around for about a week and a half. Haven't seen Butcher for months. Or Freddy, really, too. Alright. Let's do some wide grips here. See, you can just really get into it. Breathe. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Breathe, inhale, exhale. All right. Not bad. This will help me a little bit tonight. So I don't have to go back to that job for four more days. I got three more straight days off, and then I got to start Friday and Saturday again of this week, so hopefully I won't be sick. I doubt it. I'll sweeten them up. Yeah. Anyway, you can actually take your feet off the pedals here, and you can actually have a little tighter uh, feel. You don't work your legs as much, but you do get a stronger uh, pull on your upper body. I like this machine a lot, man. I might even buy a backup in case this goes down in a few months or a year from now. Yes. You can actually use this handle as a pulling mechanism too. If you want really close grip shit, 
Another thing I told you about that I haven't told you about, you can actually do bicep curls. Oh, watch me. So take these things off like this. And you could actually bite, work your biceps. See? See, I can see my biceps working. So you're basically it's concentrated on your biceps. So like underhand bicep, you're like a barbell or dumbbells or something like that. So you can actually get some good work. You've got flabby biceps like me. It actually kind of works. I kind of vary. I kind of vary different positions over the earth. This machine, different things I can do with it. I like this. Uh, not bad. Just, just sit like this and go like this. You can actually see your biceps working, your triceps working, pretty much uh, by themselves. So we'll go back to the normal handles. I just wanted to kind of give you a demonstration of what some of the options you have with this machine. So there we go. Let's do about right here. Very good. Very good. Some water here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll just try to make one every week or every two, every couple weeks or maybe twice a week. I don't really know. I got to do the other characters too. I like doing movie reviews of Spidey. So shout outs, Janelle, Danny and Balmer, Musty and Krusty, Lice Rice. Oh, Musty and Krusty, yeah. The Rice Brothers down in... Guam. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck they are. I don't know where the fuck those two are, man. I think they're in Guam. Of course, uh, Robert on YouTube. He kind he once in a while comments on some of my videos. He likes movie uh, reviews and Penny. So basically, thank you, Robert, for always commenting on a lot of my videos. I appreciate that. You're one of the few people that actually make an effort. There's a few other people, but he's made more of an effort than anybody else. Except criticism in the past, you know. Snide remarks about Penny and, you know, Butcher and all those kind of other characters. They always got to have a snide remark, don't they? Because they can't do this, I can. So basically, is it called jealousy, maybe? I make an effort, I make a, you know, I try to do something different in my life. Alright, we're just about over here. Two more minutes and we're finished. Well, it's been a hoot, folks. Maybe the next one or two videos I'll do some uh, stronger tension pulls on this machine. And I'll show you exactly how hard it is to pull this damn handle back, man. But your upper body and lower body get a really good workout. And that's what's the most important thing here. Right, Arnold? I'll be back. All right. So it says 909, we go to 11 and we're going to call it quits. You know, the nice thing about this machine, you can actually stretch forward too and just pull like this. You don't even have to move your legs or anything, man. You just do this. You get a little stronger pull on your shoulders and stuff like that. I mean, there's so many options on this machine. It's really nice, man. Well, I hope you had an entertaining time watching me blab about nothing. <laughs> All right. I reckon you're right, little Philly. All right. Well, I think we're gonna call this. We're just about ready to click over nine to ele nine eleven. So. All right, man. Icky me. Uh oh, we got some trouble here, man. Got a western going on in Three Stooges. Back in the old Wild West, man. Anyway, we're going to call this over. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow night with Spidey. If not, I'll see you maybe on Wednesday or Thursday with something. I'm not sure what. 
Okay. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching me do some boring rows. I really do appreciate it. I know this isn't very exciting. I know, I know, I just blab on all kinds of weird shit, you know. But I kind of, I would kind of enjoy doing this. You know, it gets me away from the other characters. It kind of gets me away from, uh, you know, the, the boredom of my life. My life. You know, I got to do something, man. I just can't sit there and go to that job. Two days a week is enough for that. So I want to thank you for watching this uh, rowing video number 11. And we will see you probably in maybe a couple days. Thank you, man. Thank you.